Hey, Nina, Momo. Hey, Nina, Momo. Sit. Sit. <gasps> good girl. Good girl. You want to go out? Sit there. Sit. Sit. Wait. Go on in. Why has it gone down to 58, 59? Oh, God. Right, 60. You guys saw that, right? 59. 60. 60 what? Flipping heck. Right, sod it. That'll do. Straight away, boiling water. Top it up to 400 grams. A little bit more. Perfect. Now, I would argue that this next step is probably the most crucial one, right? You do not put it straight in the microwave. You see all these clumps? You see this? Look at that. You don't want to put that in the microwave. That's going to turn to mush, okay? So smoothen out for a good minute or so, at least, all of the lumps that you can find. Smoothen it out until it is nice and creamy and actually starts to, starts to kind of soak it up a little bit, you know? Then... And only then, you know it's ready. See, look, bits like this, that's what we're getting rid of. Smoothen them out. Let it soak up. And then, it's time for the microwave. Whilst that is in the microwave, ladies and gents, you fill up your glass of OJ, and we have it because, yes, it is relatively high sugar, but it's okay, because we only have a 250 ml glass. These are 250 ml, I just know it, right? One minute down, we're going to give it another stir for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then it's going to go back in, and then we add the protein. Perfecto. True waffle protein, we are going to go for two scoops, which works out at 25 grams per scoop, so a 50 gram-ish, there or there about serving, gives you about 40 grams of protein. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This entire meal, 60 grams of oats, mix it with water, a good tasting protein, i.e. one of these, and you don't need to use milk. You can save the calories from the milk, keep your calories nice and low, and stir, and flip, and stir, and flip. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJTV. Today we are just going to be kind of going throughout my day, but whilst we go along, I'm going to be giving you guys some of the tips on my food, the kind of foods I'm eating for my lean bulk, how I'm going to keep my bulk lean, how I am keeping my bulk lean, and just kind of, well, that, that's it really, but we're just going to do a regular vlog at the same time, if you know what I'm saying, but we need a title, so the food is in the title. Play your cards right, ladies and gents, and you can have a massive bowl of creamy goodness, street waffle, caramelly, toffee kind of flavoured goodness of protein and, and stuff, all for a few hundred calories. So, before we go any further on today's video, these are just the foods that I eat. I'm not saying that you're going to get the exact same results as me if you eat these foods, or you should do this. This is just me showing you what I do, and if you want to try it, then, well go for it like but anyway drop the video a like if you're excited comment down below <sighs> subscribe if you need <laughs> okay, let's go. Fair, sometimes I don't even mix my pre in a shaker, I just rinse out a glass that I was already using. One scoop of cola going down like so. Oh god.
training back and stuff. Yeah, I take that back. I mean, this is one of the best sessions I have had for a long time. I have got Velocity Long Sleeve. I have got Velocity Joggers. I've got my sliders on. I got my socks on. Nice and warm, warmed up with my hat on. I feel great. I just feel loose. I feel full. I feel pumped. I feel warm and just ready to go, you know? So, we started with a triple drop set, right? Just completely mixed it up. Because of what I said the other day, I was like, I need to do something to mix up my back day just for once to kind of get back into it, right? So I started off with lap pull down on here, triple drop set, started off pretty much the entire stack, dropped it by two plates, dropped it by two plates, dropped it by two plates, um, and just kind of went with, with how it felt. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gents, it felt friggin' amazing. So, we are gonna keep going. Nice controlled tempo. What I'm trying to do here is take my triceps out of the movement and just pull down as much as possible. If only I had some cuffs. Hey, Brandon. If you have not already heard or you do not already know, uh, Brandon, as in Brandon Harding, as in hard body, as in the equipment, um, is actually doing a launch and he's launching his cuffs, he's launching his bands. Uh, there's also some wraps, some, no, not, not wraps. He's already done wraps, straps. So now we'll have belt, knee sleeves, pretty much anything that you can think of. As far as I know, it's going to be a restock of the old stock and obviously a stock of the new stock as well. So if you missed out on the last launch and you've regretted it ever since, probably go check it out. I'll link the video, the hard body video at the end of this and you can see my thoughts on it. Spoiler alert, it's sick. Do it, do it to me, baby. Do it, do it, do it to me, baby. What you gonna do? Bum, 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 bum. Silly games. You gotta. So it is vitally important that I point out how helpful things like this are and how helpful things like this are. So I'm not just gonna plug in my protein code, I'm also gonna plug a Lodo code. Code LSJ, Lodo links are always in the description box for every single video. Snacks or chocolate alternatives, you can get protein crisps. All things like this that you see on my shelf, bear in mind that clear way isolate tastes pretty much just like squash. If you want some squash, it's pretty much empty calories that you're just drinking. You know, that you're not getting anything from squash, but you will get some protein from a clear way isolate and it tastes the same. Brownies, cake bars, protein bars just in general, are they exactly the same as a Twix? No, but are they good? Yes, and will they give you 20, 30 plus grams of protein, 40 if you pick the right one, and still taste good? Yes, so I use, personally, if I'm craving some chocolate, I will reach for a protein bar. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, if it's right before bed, I'll have a clear way isolate. Stuff like that, when I would usually have other things, even if I'm craving a gin, right? A, a gin, and I know that I probably shouldn't, you know, it's during the week, I like to kind of save it for the weekend, or all of that kind of stuff, you know how it is, right? I have a mojito clear way, instead of having a gin, because it's that kind of alcohol taste, if you like but you're getting 20 grams of protein. You're getting a protein kit before bed. It's as simple as that. Things like that are really, really helpful and really, really key for me personally to keep my bulk lean, to keep my diet on track. Whether I'm bulking or whether I'm cutting, I will have Lodo. In fact, I'm gonna have Lodo tonight. You guys can see that in just a second. We're gonna have Lodo for dinner. Oh, but Liam, why would you have Lodo? Because it's so low calorie and you're bulking, right? Why are you having so few calories on a bulk? Well, because it's working, people. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. If the amount of calories that you are having is working, do not increase them. Increase them when you need to, but never before that, right? If you stop making progress, I'm currently making progress in the gym, right? If you are making progress, do not change anything. If you stop making progress for a sustained period of time, could just be a blip, you could be not sleeping as well, you know? So bear in mind, if you don't make progress for three, four days, that's okay. But if you don't make progress for a week or two, 
that's when you've got to start making changes, okay? But one thing that remains consistent bulking or cutting for me is things like this. Is my good looking shelf. How cool does that look for starters, right? People in general, especially nowadays when you can get everything at the click of a button, want results straight away, right? And if you're not getting that, you feel like you need to change something and you, people don't stick to things for a sustained enough period of time, right? So give it a few weeks, give it some time, see what works for you and stick to that. Ignore what everyone else says because what works for you won't work for them. What works for them won't work for you and vice versa. It might. No two people are the same. No two people's diets are the same. No people's training plans should be the same. Within reason. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Anyway. <sighs> Whilst we are on the note of clear way or just my protein snacks in general, they have a massive, ridiculously massive Black Friday sale going on right now. You can pick one of these tubs for £11. It is that cheap. I've never seen it in my entire year of working with the company. I have never known it to be this cheap. So first link in the description box. Once they're gone, they're gone. They only have a limited amount of Black Friday stock. I'm not supposed to tell you that, but once they're gone, they're gone. Stock up and do it now. So grab your favourite Passata, we actually get ours from Sainsbury's, it's the cheapest and actually I think tastes the best out of all of the ones that we have tried. Grab your favourite reduced fat cheese and add a healthy serving, not too much, but it's reduced fat remember, so you know, be generous, but not too much, that's all we've gone for today. We've actually just gone for a margarita lodo and we're going to have the chicken on the side. Sometimes I put chicken and ham and stuff on it, but today I just fancied a margarita. So bang that in the oven for anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes, jump in the shower in between and you will wind up with a dinner like this. And my goodness, it was fantastic. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys took something from it. Whatever you take from it, take with a pinch of salt because, you know, what works for me might not work for you. But this is what I've been doing and I think the results clearly say, clearly state or show, I should say, that it's working. I'm going to stick with it for the foreseeable future until we hit a roadblock and then that's when we'll change things up and I'll do an update video as and when that happens. But until that point, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a massive favour, drop it a like, drop it a comment down below, subscribe mm -hmm. if you want to. Cost you nothing, takes you two seconds and really helps us grow. Thank you all so much for the Black Friday support. Got so much exciting stuff coming with my protein. Thank you so much for all of your support. Together we will grow. Exciting times. Stay tuned people and I'll see you in the next one.